Hi everybody, happy Friday! Welcome to the first painting in my new book. I'm having the Frog King today. This was the first fairy tale I chose. Why I'm working with uh, this book and having fairy tales in it will be linked in the iCards, the vlog section where I explain why and what and how and when. Also, the uh, story behind why I had that particular motive and why I did things um, uh, in, in that painting that are not art technique will be on the blog. It's gonna come out 10 minutes after this video is published, so you can hop on over and read and have lots and lots of close-up photos. So the first thing I did was giving the uh, page a background layer with turquoise, cadmium, yellow, uh, ultramarine blue and a bit of mixing white. So I, with acrylics I have to work from back to forth. I know how my page will be um, uh, structured, what I want to put where, because I had a quick watercolor sketch done before I started this page just to see how positioning and composition would work. Then I'm going in with uh, different browns. The exact uh, titles of the browns and blues that I'm using to have different shades of grey for this well here, or the stone uh, stuff of a well, uh, will be on my blog as well. Um, I have a whole list. But it's mainly cold browns, a tiny bit of light uh, ochre or yellow ochre and mixing white that I'm putting together and have different shades of grey. Then I'm going around it with uh, black to enhance the creases between the stones where you have um, more of a shadow because those stones are not flat, they are round. And then I'm giving the whole thing again a bit of a blast with my hairdryer just to, well, speed along the trying process. With the same cat yellow and mixing white, I'm having very sketchy dots in the background, three of them odd numbers, because I like odd numbers, for some flowers and then with a fan brush I go in with cat yellow, turquoise or um, ultramarine blue to have the longer grass in the background as well as in the foreground underneath the well. I'm also adding a bit of uh, yellow ochre and shorter strokes where you have then the distinction between the longer grass and the very short mossy area. For the shading I used a bit of uh, Van Dyke Brown and there you very shortly saw my sketch <laughs> just to, you can see it on the lower uh, end of the frame now just to help me with the positioning of the frog and the chair uh, to well have it pretty similar to what I sketched out. Uh, for sketching I use a watercolor pencil in black because that will uh, dissolve with the acrylics and I won't have those nasty graphite lines once I'm done painting. Again uh, I'm using Mix in white, cat yellow, turquoise and ultramarine blue to mix my green for the frog. It's, uh, it's pretty much all the same colors, just depends how much of the blues or the yellows I mix that makes it a lighter or a darker green, uh, equally as a colder or a warmer green. I'm just coloring the whole frogger. Well, not the whole frogger, not the feet and not the hands because those I will color later after I have uh, set everything for this uh, golden uh, ball of the princess. Uh, I gave it a coat of mixing white, cat yellow and light ochre and then I went with gold acrylics on top. But I had to let it dry a bit so in between I did color or paint the chair with uh, cat red and Van Dyke brown at least all of the red parts. For the legs of the chair I will also use burnt umber, which is uh, a bit warmer than the Van Dyke brown, so I have a bit of um, 
well, a more wooden kind of a brown there, not just a quote-unquote shading brown. Van Dyke is my favorite brown for shading. So I'm just going all around the chair and uh, giving it a solid layer. I also added a tiny bit of uh, black and ultramarine blue to the burned umber for the legs and gave the chair a shade, a shadow or a wooden piece on the left hand side as well. Uh, with the gold I colored the ball and now have a little crown on top of the chair and then I'm coloring in or painting in the uh, hands and the legs or the feet better said of the Fraga and now you know why I did not paint them before but waited until I had that golden ball um, finished because between the well feet parts of the Fraga it would have been a hassle to just uh, paint that so with acrylics it's really beneficial to paint in layers and not around stuff. Uh, then I gave the uh, um, flowers a bit of a stem midsection, added the grassy parts with the fan or the mossy parts with a fan brush in the foreground, brought everything together just to have uh, the scene look consistent. And then I did let it dry, gave it another blast with my um, hair dryer. And then I went in with a Copic marker to just outline things or enhance things, giving the Frogger a few dots just to make him look, well, <laughs> a bit cooler, a bit more interesting, just to have a pattern, not having him look bland green. And uh, because he's a cool fella, he also gets um, a uh, pair of sunglasses. Now in the beginning here uh, I screwed up with the nose part it was just too much. It worked better with the watercolors to have those lines in but not with acrylics. So I went over the face again with cat yellow and turquoise. Gave it another layer solid and then restarted just having a smaller nose line, a very um, small mouth line and a huge pair of sunglasses, which in my opinion works way better than the first try. Um, also you got some hair and then with white gel pen I went all over the page and had added some highlights before I took a glossy paint or marker and a ruler and gave the whole piece of frame, like I so often do in my art journals. I thought it would also fit here. I hope you enjoyed watching along uh, the first page of this fairy tale book. book. There's many, many more to, to come. Hop on over to my blog to find out why exactly I had this scenery done and uh, what I took from the fairy tale. There's also lots of uh, close-up photos, a materialist and many, many information about all of the other paintings I did this week. Have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you for watching comments as per usual. Leave them in the comment section and do all the good YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Happy weekend and bye-bye.